Welcome to EDM113, Living and Learning with Technology. My name's Jenny Parker and I'm your online lecturer for EDM113. In this video, I'll explain how to navigate around the EDM113 online unit. When you arrive at the EDM113 online unit, you will see um, what's showing on the screen at the moment. And here you can see we have three columns, the left column which has navigation at the top, the middle column which is the welcome message here in the centre, and the right hand column which has a latest news section in the top right hand side. The left hand column as you can see has the navigation and by clicking on any of these links you'll be able to open out sections within the LMS and click directly to the content which will display here in the middle section. Underneath that you'll find an activities block so if you want to jump to a specific type of activity such as a learning forum you can click on that link and it will take you to a list of all of the forums and this is where you can track whether you are updated about new posts or whether you're subscribed or unsubscribed to a particular forum. And the quickest way to return to that home page that we were looking at originally is to click on this EDM113 link here at the top. Further down on the left you'll find a search forums box and here you can type a keyword, say you're wanting a question about your marks. If you click on that and press go you'll find all posts in the forum which have the word marks written in it. And as you can see here in the frequently asked questions forum there was a question when will we receive our assignment marks. So that's a very quick way to find um, answers to your questions before you type in a new one. So again I'm going to click up here on 113 and go back to that first section and here you can see that frequently asked forums question that we were just searching through. Scrolling further down you'll find an administration block at the bottom on the left hand side and this is where you'll be able to view your grades. Let's quickly look at the column on the right hand side. There is no news in the forum yet but once the unit coordinator Hannah or myself post something to this it will appear here and you can click on this announcements link. It's the same place. Underneath latest news you'll see contact details so if you would like to email one of your tutors or Hannah the unit coordinator you click directly on the link next to their name. Underneath that's a calendar and when we add things to the LMS that have an event date on them you'll see them appear here. So for example all of your assessment tasks will come up here as a reminder. So if I just click through to March you can see the 18th of March is in a different colour and when I mouse over it it will tell me that the task 1 is due for submission. Underneath that is a link to the Echo Centre and that is where all the recorded lectures can be accessed from. So the on-campus lectures that get recorded through Echo, you'll just be able to click and launch there to access those through the unit. We then have some quick links and we'll talk more about those in, as we go through the course. But you might want to explore those in the meantime and just see what sort of information we've put up for you. There's also a help and support section down the bottom here so you can find information just about everything you need to help support your learning in this unit. And back to the middle section you can see here this first welcome section we talked about the announcements. The learning guide is a critical part of the unit so this is where you'll find all the information and resources to help you complete each task. If I just click on that learning guide you can see now I have a table of contents up here on the left hand side. We'll be adding to this learning guide as we move through the course. Strongly encourage you when you first come into the unit to have a look at this first orientation section. The learning approach, developing an online presence, lectures and readings and the study schedule. And you can either click on these links here in the table of contents or as you're reading through the pages you can just remove the forward and backward arrows. There's some important information in this section to get you started and familiarise you with the lectures and the readings that we'll be doing throughout the semester. The study schedule is a quick reference to 
the assignment tasks and which of the textbook readings can support each of those tasks. And then after the orientation section, we have the task section for task one, two and three. So as you're completing each of these tasks, it will be vital that you come through and have a look at the information. There'll also be many links that you can click on and examples of finished projects. And again, the quickest way to return back to the home page is the link up the top. Oh, and just a quick comment about the different types of links that we have. Some links will open here within the same window, such as the learning guide. These are all the resources that are within the LMS. But when you get down to places like the resources page, this is where we'll put links to each of the lectures. And we've got lots of links to other resources, such as the Technology Toolbox for Educators website. If I'm looking at a tutorial video, it opens in a new separate window. So you can watch that video and then video easily just close the window and be back on the page that you were in within the LMS. And if you scroll down in this centre section, you can see the orientation activities that we'd like you to complete before the unit starts. And then in week one, we'll move into looking at task one. Here's where you'll be able to download marking rubrics, submit your assignment, have access to the lecture forums and the task one activities that will help your learning in the unit. And then the task two section, you'll have the same format. And the task three section. Not all of the activities are here yet because we'll be adding resources as we work through the semester. The section down the bottom here is information regarding the exam, so you might like to take a quick look at that as well, and then where you can go in the future. So I encourage you to explore and move around the unit to familiarise yourself with the resources. So please take the time to click on some of the links and explore what's already online, and we look forward to meeting you online or in the tutorial classrooms.